What, what is the matter? Uh, what is it? Uh, what happened to you? My love, what happened? Uh, what happened to you? I don't know. What happened to you? I met her like this. What happened to you? What happened to you? I met her like this. What happened to you? What happened to you? Hey! You are taking that too. Stupid girl, where are you taking that too? What are you doing in my house? How dare you step your feet in, in my compound? Oh, Sarah, I know that you're angry, but we're still brother. I do not support what my wife did, but she has already paid for her sin. But you cannot take because of that punishing all of us. Eh? Phyllis, it's not I, good. I told you. I told you we have nothing together. No, no, no. Remember when our father died, you took everything and made sure that I was disowned. Have you forgotten? I have apologized. Eh? But my brother, you cannot have all this, all this wealth. Both one in Abuja, in Abba, on it, everywhere. And we are your people that are suffering. Is it good? Phyllis, leave my house. I said leave my house. We are still brother. Eh? Joshua! Forgi Joshua! My brother, please, don't do this thing. Eh? Don't do this thing. It's not good. I said, leave my house. Brother. Leave my house immediately or I'll get you arrested. Leave my house! Joshua! To see him anywhere close to you. I mean, he's your family. He's still your family no matter what. They want both of us to disappear so they can inherit my world. But that is in the past. Now he's asking for forgiveness. Forgive him, please. When our father died, they took everything the land, the, 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 the money. In fact, they said I. I was an irresponsible man. They connived with the elders to, 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 to have me disowned. What? Disowned? <sighs> My brother Felix has always been a good man. And he still has a change. When he discovered that I had become wealthy, he now came back faking that he regretted his actions. What? Chief. Yes? I want to go buy something. It's okay. Thank you, Chief. Yeah. So, Tom. Do you think he knows? Yes. But I'm sure He's back here for his single purpose of achieving what he could not. And what's that? 
they feel that you are standing in their way. Me? You, to them, is an imposture that wants to take what belongs to them. Why? Why? Why, why is the heart of men so evil? I don't know. But what I'm worried about is... about you. Your safety. I don't want them to hurt you. To be probably kid. Let me go straight to the point. Um, his name is Solomon. Hi, Solomon. Hi, Solomon. That's my beloved daughter. He's going to be your bodyguard and driver. Dad. Yes. I don't need a bodyguard. Okay. He's going to be your driver. At least you need a driver, isn't it? Dad, what? I. There's no blood. Come on. Let's go inside. <laughs> it's a pleasure. All right, come. <laughs> Oh, sir. oh, that's nice. I am still on the shopping mall deal. Um, you want to come and take a look? Sure. I have a meeting right now with some of my clients. Your clients? Yes. Oh, 
You mean the OGs? Yes. Uh, yes. No, Dad, you said I was going to come with you. <sighs> yes, I said so, but you can see we are behind schedule. We are behind schedule. <sighs> no, I think for like, once you get there, don't forget to tell me every detail of what happened. Yes, ma. And I want you to also know that I'll be leaving straight home from the meeting. Okay, that is over. Well. No, it's okay. okay. Oh, thank you so much. I don't know where I'll look after it for you. Yeah, pick it from this one. All right, Dad. All right, Dad. I hope the driver is outside. Yeah, yes, sir. Alex. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. Hi, what are you doing here? Um, my boss asked me to deliver this file to your dad. Your boss asked you to deliver the file? Yes. Um, doesn't he have a secretary? He does. I was actually coming to see you, so he gave me this document to give your dad. Okay. Let me have it. Um, I was to hand us fly over to your dad myself. I am my dad's secretary. Remember? Uh, yes, I know. But I would still like to hand this fly over to him. Any file that must go to my father must come through me. Hope you know that. Yes. But please, I would still like to give him this file. Stop it! Aside being the assistant to my dad, I'm the GMD, Group Managing Director of this company. And aside my age, I am a master degree holder. So I will not watch you insult me at my place of work because you're my fiancé. Um, babe, please don't, don't get me wrong. I am not trying to disrespect you. All I want is an opportunity to talk to you. Even your boss don't have the capacity to talk to my dad. Much more you. Listen, if you have a personal talk you want to discuss with my father, I will advise you do that at home, not at work. Okay. Let me have it now. Oh. What is it? I'm sorry, hey, please. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I just wanted to. It's fine. Don't do um, how about our dinner dates? Should I pick you up or I should meet you at the location? <laughs> it will be better if you pick me up. <laughs> okay. Fine, please leave. I have things to do. Don't worry, babe. 
I have everything under control. Don't worry, I, I, I got you on this. Okay? Okay. Yeah. The address, please. Can you just keep going? I will, I will direct you. Uh, instead of stressing yourself, just give him the address. I, I think I'll be needing the address so I can get in into the Google map. Give it to him. Okay. That's it. Right. Here we are. <laughs> Don't worry, you enjoy yourself today. <laughs> I know you will love this place. Yes, I do. Um, babe, can you ask your bodyguard to excuse us for a minute? Is there a problem? Oh um, no, not at all. Just, I just want us to have a little time before we go inside. All right, um, Solomon, please can you excuse us? Please. Excuse me. Step down from the car. You heard me. Get down. Give us a few minutes together. Leave. Now. Go. Alright. Um, baby, you know, you and I love you so much. Mm -hmm. I love you too. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> um, I've been waiting for this opportunity for a very long time now. So I felt like this is the best time I say it and take actions. Okay, what is it? Close your eyes. Okay, my eyes are closed. It. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Alex. Yeah, I especially got this for you. Especially for you, you know. Babe, will you marry me? Oh god. Yes, I'll marry you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I love you so much. I love you more. Oh, this is beautiful. Alex. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so this is just the, the first part. Let's go inside there and have some fun. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's go inside. Oh, don't come down. I'm coming down to open the door for you. This ring is beautiful. <laughs> Just calm down, please. You, 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 why are you angry now? That is just a few change to you. Listen, I'm not talking about the money. Why did you take me out on a date? 
you order the, the most expensive food and drink. See, babe, you should know that you, you, you deserve the best. I did all that for you. Okay? Really? You did all that for me and you made me pay all the bills? I told you I forgot my wallet at, 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 at home. All the time? You're always forgetting your wallet at home. All the time. You're always forgetting your wallet at home. What is wrong with you? Like, tell me, why did you take me out on an expensive date if you know I'll be the one, I'll, I'll, I'll be the one pay for all, all, the, all the food and drinks? Like, what, what's wrong with you, Alex? You. Why are you sounding as if I deliberately made you pay? I told you I left my wallet at, 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 at home, okay? So please, why is Alex, if you have no intention of me paying the bills, then you will not make me pay for other people's bills. You have no shame for it. You disgust me! Babe, can you just calm down? Can't you see you are embarrassing me in front of him? Okay, who, who cares? Who cares? Solomon, please. Yes. Head to his house, let's drop him. Alright, so true. What, what are you doing? I took you out on the date. I even proposed to you. Babe, see, I am so sorry. Shh. Enough, please. This rubbish. Boy is foolish. Oh, you lied. Yes, I did. <sighs> Maybe he thinks because her father is rich, therefore it doesn't matter if she pays for everything. And what does that tell about his character? It means he's a very foolish boy. No. It goes to show that he is no match for my daughter. No, uh, Chief, I disagree with you on that one. They are very much in love with each other. Do you see my daughter like someone who is in love with him? Yes, absolutely. She might be angry at the moment, but I am 100% sure she loves him as much. The young man has learned from his mistake. Anyway, I am not worried. I trust my daughter. She might be young, but I know she is matured and intelligent. Yes, our Chico is the best. Uh, let me quickly get something from the kitchen, Chief.
Mom, someone sent this to you. Who is that? I really do not know. The inscription on it says, from a secret admirer. Trash it. But uh, it is your favorite. How do you know it's my favorite? I take my work very serious. Since the person is not bold enough to say who he is, then I don't need it. Trash it. I... I am sorry, I... I insist. Solomon! Don't let me repeat myself again. I don't need it. Trash it. All right. All right, Ochoko. Hey, baby. Alex. Hey, then. What is it? Um, I came to look for you at your office. It's obvious you're here now. Why are you here? Um, I find it more comfortable for me. So I'd rather stay in my father's office. That's good. It's not a bad thing. Um, have you talked to your dad? About what? About the house we spoke about. No, I've not spoken to him yet. Uh, babe, why? Why? Why should I tell him? Alex, relax. Once we get married, my dad will surely give us a house. Babe, babe. Why, why are you even rushing things? Babe, you're 22. I am sure you're not planning on getting married soon. Okay? Yes, I know. I'm not planning on getting married soon. So? Uh, see, babe. I live in a room apartment. Do you want these people to laugh at me when they find out? Okay, please, you just need to help me. Yeah. Last time I checked, you're being paid 500 k 500,000 every month. Listen, if you really need an apartment, I'm sure you can afford that yourself. It's, it's not as if I can't afford it. When we get married, definitely your dad will give us a building. So why can't he just give us the house now, so I can live in there? Uh, uh, let me just be staying there for now, okay? There is, it, is, it is not a bad thing. Hello? Yes, I'm the one. Oh my god! Which hospital? What happened? I'm coming there right away. Please, please. I'm coming. Where are you? My dad just had an accident. What? Let's go. Let's go, 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 go. Get out! Huh? Joshua! Joshua! What is wrong? Ma, Papa? Ma. Papa told me not to let this man into the compound. Hmm? Eh? So, my brother died. None of you called me. I'm not your brother. He said you shouldn't come in. So why are you asking me? Am I your brother? Hey! What's going on here? Eh? What's going on here? And what's, what's this man doing here? Hey! 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 How do you know? Even the workers in the office do not know about it. It's you. Yes, because you are the only one I can think of. It's you. Stop it. Solomon will not do it like that. I don't trust you, okay? I don't trust you. You have an ulterior motive in coming into this house. So how do you know that? Okay, Tim. He's the only one who has not been here long enough to know how things are and to be loyal to you. Can you stop? My father I know will not employ someone he doesn't trust 200%. Mm. He's innocent. Okay, since you said he's not the one, then who else? Who? 
Are you? He's, he's the one. You. Did you tell me? No, 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 man. I know. Say the truth. I promise I won't get mad. No, I swear. I'm not. I don't have this number. Let me put you in the final words. Did I ask you to go inside? Stay here. Step back. You have not even given a a a a free ticket. You're entering inside. See the way he's jumped inside. Please. We just need to talk now. Okay, let's let's go. Hey! Oh, to about no training. Oh, to about no training. Hey! Uchiko, are you in love with with that guy? Your driver, of course. Why are you saying rubbish? The way you defended him, it was as if something was going on between you both. Listen, I'm not in the mood for these accusations, please. Please, tell me the, the truth, please. Have you been sleeping with him? No! Then what? What's, what's wrong with you? Why did you defend him? Like because that? that's my father's judgment. Satisfied now? Please! Let's go. Now listen to me, you fool. Stay away from my girl, okay? Stay away from my girl. I know what you're thinking. I know you want to seduce her because she has money, okay? So, but see, I will never allow you to do that. I will never allow you to do such. Now listen. Now listen real good. Treat Ochoko well. And all of us. We'll enjoy peace. But if you think of think of thinking of playing games or think of hurting her, you will have me to contend with and you should be scared. Excuse me. I should be scared of you. You heard me right. Do not play any gimmicks. If you want peace in this house. Now tell me, which hospital do you, do you take him to? And why should I tell you? So I can make a legend to take him home for Beria. Home? He will be buried here. God forbid. My brother cannot be buried in the strange land. This is also his home. My father will be buried here. And that's final. This girl, who do you think uh, to challenge me? This is the family matter. And who do you think you are to come here to intimidate me? Listen, don't tell me. Well, Anna, tell me. Nana, tell me. Okay, no problem. I must find out. Mr. Felix, don't tell me, else I will put you in jail. What's wrong with his mind? How can he be gone? I I'm really trying to be strong. What does he expect me to do now? Oh, come on, don't worry, my love. You'll be fine, okay? Remember you have me, so we are in this two together, okay? It's fine. It's fine. How dare you? How dare you tell the Lord to release his body to me? And why would they do it like that? You're not his nest of kin. Huh? And my father said he doesn't want to have anything to do with you or your family. Do you think he will allow you to with his dead body? What is going on here? Nana, see me. This little rat told them not to release the body of my brother to me. Your brother, the one you disowned. Huh? What? <laughs> what in God's name are you trying to do, old man? I ask you again. What do you think you are doing? You want you. 
You are free to say whatever you want to say. You are free to do whatever you want to do. But if you dare to dare to dare raise this fist on her, make a promise to her. You can crush every bone, every bone in your body. I make myself clear. When I'm when I'm with them, we'll be seeing the kill. Next time you point these fingers on my face, that will be the last time you make use of this hand. Listen, if this miserable thing, if this miserable thing you call a life, still mean anything to you, scot you all out of this house. And do not come back next time to constitute the Yuvzans. Calm down. Have you heard me? You hurt him. Old man, have you heard me? Have you, have you, have you heard me? You're right. Taka taka sana si upendi. Njinga wewe. Achuko, if you ask me, I will say let him have the body so that you two can have peace. I'm not stopping him from having the body. How do you mean? I'm not the one that told the hospital not to hand over the body to him. Who did? My father's lawyer. Yes, that's why I didn't bother stopping Uncle Felix. You don't say. Uh. Well, before my father died, he told me not to worry about anything concerning his burial. Father was a shrewd man. He knew you won't stand a chance with Felix, and he took care of things by himself. I don't know what to do. I seriously don't know what to do. Okay, it's fine. Okay. Yeah, I want to formally welcome every one of you to this brief meeting. And I want to believe that whatever I see here will meet you well. So what you go? Uh, your father made a statement. He said you should not be bothered about any burial or funeral arrangement. He said that his body be burnt and be scattered into the river. What? Ah! Abomination! Hey! I'm, um, uh, I'm, 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 I'm sorry, but Baista, why will he give such instruction? Well, it is not my will. It is your father's wish, and we must respect that. My brother was a great man. I did him like this. He was never a thief. He was an honorable man. How can his body be burnt and scattered in the river? Well, just like I said, and I'm repeating it, it is not my will. It is her father's wish. I don't even know why he made such statements, but we just have to respect the opinion and the statement of the dead. Okay, it's fine. I will do as my father wanted. Let's prepare for his weekend. I will have to make sure we inform others. Exactly. Achuko, you'll be fine. Don't worry about it. It cannot happen. It cannot happen. I don't even know you. I don't I don't know who you are. I don't know where you come from. You see this this plan, you people plan, it cannot work. Don't worry, I'm coming. Ajikola, I will just advise you to make sure you use your father's instruction. Thank you. Thank you. I'll bet you take my leave now. Thank you, Boris. Hmm. I don't like this. Something is not right. What do you think is not right? Hmm. I want to see his body. Yes, something is fishy. Ochuko is not pretending. Nobody could be such a such a good actor hmm. to act the way she's doing. Okay, find out what is hiding. Yes, 
find out. Where are you discussing with him? Apparently nothing. I was just begging him to, to calm down. Oh, oh, oh no, Chico, not to take out his anger on the little girl. She's just but a child. You do not have to worry about Ochuko. I will take very good care of her. How? For crying out loud, she needs a family. We are her family. She needs comfort and peace of mind more than anything else in this world. Can you guarantee her that? Excuse me. Where is the vacant room, please? Why? Because I need to move in. I don't understand how. Move in where? Huh? Move in where? Um, at this point, I feel it's very necessary for me to move in and stay closer to Ochuko in case she needs my help. Help her how? I don't have people in the house. Are you implying you might harm her? I imply nothing. I was fully and duly paid, fully and duly hired by your Chukor's father to protect her. Even in the event of the man's demise, I must still carry out my duties and my responsibilities. That's talk of bullshit. You are mad. In fact, you, 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 are, you, are, you are a foolish man. See, you are fired. Take your things out from, from this house. Unfortunately, you are not in the position to fire me. You did not hire me. So you cannot fire me. Those harrant nonsense. I see. It, it seems you are coming to this house to find an opportunity to seduce her. But that will never work. Not while I'm still here. Bye. Huh? What is going on here? Uh, yeah. This young man wants to move into this house to seduce you. He's after your money. Let us fire him. Fire him right now. Solomon, what is it? I deemed it fit at this point to move into the main house to stay closer to you so I can protect you as I was instructed by your late father. Take him to the empty room upstairs. What? You want that man to carry your bag and follow me. Oh. And I carry your bag. Shit. What is it, Alex? Alex, what is it? What is wrong with you? So you want that man to be sleeping next to you? Are you jealous? Listen. Why are we dating if you don't trust me? Come on, it's not that I don't trust you. Don't you get it? I don't trust him! It's the same thing! What is wrong with you? Can't you see him? Look at him! Look at him! Okay, so since you wanted me, Abby, I am moving here too. I am coming here too. I thought you were already here. This is wrong. This is wrong. I will never allow it. How will old Chuko allow that insane person to stay here? Why? Alex, you need to calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. That girl is disrespecting me. She she doesn't have regard for me again. How can you 
comprehend this. Barely a week after her father's death? Oh, no, no, no. What are you talking about? What did I do? What did I do? I only asked her we should get married. That is all. What else did I say? Alex, take it easy. You really have to listen to me. Your timing was wrong. Yes, can't you see she's still grieving? What don't you understand here? Take it easy on her. Everything will fall in well for us. But you're ruining things with your yeah. own irrational attitude. I, 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 I only said that because it was the best thing for everyone, okay? Whether it was the best thing or not, what matters is that we should do the right thing. We should do the right thing. Hey, by the week of that, father die. Who will get married? No, who does that? Do you ever imagine what people say? Problem now is that allowing that insane person to live here with us, that is my own problem. That is my issue here. This is where you need to show your own maturity. For that insane person you call to be living here, that is where your wit comes into play. <sighs> okay, no problem. No, no problem, thank you. Why don't you just let me address everyone? Why? Alex, you're not even a departmental head. Okay, yes, I, yes, fine. But I am your fiance, okay? Alex, it will be an insult if I allow a genius staff address the management because he's my fiance. I mean, what kind of a leader would that make me Why be? Why are you kicking against this? Why? This is your company. You own everything. Okay, just, uh, just stop give me it. I can't Alex, stop it, please! You're stressing me out! I am stressing you out. Did you just say I am stressing you out? You're disrespecting me in front of your driver and you're talking about stressing you out. Enough! I see you. It's obvious you just don't want me to succeed. You don't want to see me elevate. Because I, because I don't understand why, why you won't let me speak on your behalf. Why? Alex, please stop it. You're stressing me out. Stop it. Stop. I am stressing you out. Like seriously. You're embarrassing me in front of your driver and you're saying I am I am stressing you out. I don't understand. Is it because your father was rich? Huh? Stop! I've had enough of it! Stop it! You know what? Calm down. Excuse me? Calm down from my car now. Uh, babe, you're sending me out of your car. Yes. This minute. Hey boy. She said you should. Get down and do so this moment. Taka taka sana. I said get down. Fine. I'm gone. Suit yourself, okay? Suit yourself! Someone please move, move, move the car. God. What kind of stress is this? What the fuck? Oh, God. I won't, okay? I won't. I won't you go. I won't have you disrespect me, okay? I am a man. And how did I disrespect you? Alex, how did I disrespect you? Because I didn't allow you to undermine my authority in my company. I don't understand you. How will my representation undermine your authority? How? Because you're not qualified. It's simply going to mean I don't know what I'm doing or I'm not ready to become the GM of my company. But you get it. That is not it. You actually refuse because you don't respect me. Everybody in the company expects me to take the lead except you. Everybody? Yes! Who is the 
everybody. Who is that person? Tell me. Who is that person that wants you to take the lead in my company? Tell me. Listen, I don't have time for this. Please. What is going on here? What is going on? This girl, this girl, this girl is disrespecting me. She's disrespecting me. I have told you time without number. To take things easy with this girl. She is our gold mine. Nana, Nana, this girl is disrespecting me. She's disrespecting me. As our girl of the house. Really? You want to be kicked out of this house? Is that what you want? You can be kicked out of me, I will not be kicked out. I'll stay here. I'll make my money. Because this girl doesn't have regard for me. She, she, do, she doesn't regard me. What kind of regard do you want when you don't have money in your pocket? Eh? How can a poor man be talking about a rich man to be to regarding him? If you want to catch a monkey, wait and catch the monkey first. Don't go with your useless pride. I will catch monkey. I will kill monkey. Wait! Once you catch monkey, mm -hmm. you now have power. You can now raise your shoulders like this. Go now. Go to the, go to Haruma and apologize. Go and apologize. Alright. And don't go there carrying your head. They're shaking your shoulder. He's disrespecting me. Which disrespect are you talking about? Thank you. Thank you don't have money yet. Yet you're getting as if you have all the money Come inside. I realized my mistake. You're right. You're totally right. I sh shouldn't be, be stressing you out. Please, I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Can you please just fuck, forgive me? Alex, it's fine. It's just that I need to prove to my father's company that I can take over from my father's position. If I don't, if I, if I don't, they won't have faith in me and I'll fail them. Yes. I understand you and I'm ready to support you. Thank you. So, have you forgiven me? Yes. Are you sure? Thank you so much. It's fine. Um, are you hungry? Ah, oh, yes, I'm hungry. All right, let me tell Nana to get food for, for us, okay? okay. Yeah, good day everyone. I want to welcome you again to the reading of the last will and testament of Chief Osalu Akwared. But before I continue, I want to hand over the copy of this will and a letter being attached to it from your late father. I read. This is the will of Chief Osalu Akwared. And it reads as follows I, Chief Osalu Aporide, with a sound mind, states as follows My company, the Apos and Daughter Group of Companies, my estate, 
and the sum of 1.3 billion naira in my account will be given to my one and only beloved daughter, Ochuko Aporri. What? What? How? The 41% shares in Afrotech, which is the sum of 40 million dollars in my dollar account, is left for our unborn children. What? Uh, unborn children? How? Then, what about us, his real family? And even this poor woman that has been starving him for years? Yes. What about Auntie Nana? Well, I am uh, not aware of anyone in this family. But one thing I know is that this is your father's will. Are you sure that's my father's will? I mean, Nana has been working with us for years. How can he exclude her from his will? Like I said earlier, this is your father's will. It is not my wish. He is my real brother. My one and only brother. Everything he owned belonged to me. Yes, not this strange girl. I, um, I, I want you before now. You're free I'm not to say, to you're free to say whatever you want to say. You're free to do whatever you want to do. If you dare lay your filthy fingers on her. I'll oh, sit down. I'm not talking. I said, sit down. Oh, oh. All this doesn't make make sense to me at all. I mean, why won't he uh, in include Nana in his way? Why? Yes, it doesn't make sense to me too. Listen, Itamu, your father was a very smart, brilliant, intelligent, and unarticulate businessman. I believe he must have his reasons. For whatever he did it's it's fine it's okay after all i'm i've never been a member of his immediate family so if he chose to exclude me from his will i'm okay by it i accept it no accepted by me i will not accept it i know this little witch will convince with this wire to 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 teach us to make everything belong to her no i will fight for it eh it's not possible. Hello, sir. I will not take that from you. It's an insult and embarrassment to my person. Okay, sorry. You are Chadian Bear lawyer. It's okay. Chadian Bear lawyer. All right, everyone. It looks like uh, the atmosphere is not conducive for me to proceed on the reading of this will. And if there is anyone, especially you, that is not satisfied with this will, such person should go to court to contest it. Okay, I will go to court. I beg to take my leave. Okay, don't worry. I will see you to Oracle. Thank you. Not only court, I will go to Arosai. Now, see, I will go. I am not going to court. Thank you, everyone. I cannot go to court. Now, see, I will go. I'm not going to court. Listen, what is going through your mind? Well, I'm confused. I don't know why my father didn't add Nana to his will. She has been working with us for years. He even take her as, as, as family. Maybe. 
Maybe she does not deserve it. No! She deserves it. In fact, she deserves more. Are you saying your father was an unjust man? No. My father always believed in rewarding people. Your father that I know was a very just and insightful man. For your father to have omitted her, for your father to have excluded Nana from his will, there must be a reason. It probably means she does not deserve it. But how can she not deserve it? The more reason, the more reason you should be careful. Reason you should be extremely, extremely careful. And what have we been discussing? Nothing. Now listen to me, young man. Stay away from my woman. I, I won't repeat myself again. This is my woman, and I want you to stay away from her. And how possibly? How possibly could I stay away from her when? I was employed to work as her guard. Solomon, please excuse us. It's our pleasure. Alex. Alex, what is wrong with you? Why do you always pick up a fight with him? I don't like that guy. I don't like him. I just fire him. I now. cannot fire him. My father employed him to look after me, to protect me. You don't need protection, babe. You don't need protection. But if you do, I, I am here to protect you. Or I may even hire someone that can that can No! I will be with the woman my father hired for me. Enough, please! Do you love that guy? Do you love him? Let's go. Nana, Nana, are you sure you didn't offend my father when he was alive? How? I don't understand. Because I'm confused. Why didn't he add you to his will? I mean, there should be a reason to it. I know why. <laughs> okay. You know, your father was a wise man. Your father knows that I love you like my own daughter. He probably knows that I will not leave you no matter what happens. And above all, he knew you will take care of me very well. Do you think that's the reason? Absolutely. What could be a better reason? You know your father, like I told you earlier, he was a wise man. He did everything with calculation. He has wit. He has brain. You're right. Okay. Why haven't you read the letter? Um, I'll read it alone. Oh. Why don't you just read the letter in front of us? You know, we are family now. That's my father's last word. But... Uh, uh, Ojoko, Ojoko is right. That's her father's last word to her. I believe it's private. You want to really the, enjoy the moment. You know, capturing yes. the letter. Once I read it, I'll tell you what it says. Hmm? No problem. Thank okay. you so much for your understanding. You're welcome, my love. <laughs> Why don't you talk to her? Why don't you convince her to marry her? Why are you being sluggish? Eh? You, you have to help me convince that girl. She doesn't lis listen to me at all. Maybe she, I, 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 I believe she listens to you better. Are you a lookout boy? See how handsome you are. Yet you can convince a girl to love you. 
people like you are rare. You are tall, you are handsome. You don't know how to woo a girl. You want me to talk to her specially. Are you not using you, 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 you look for advantage? You behave like a Jew boy. Come off your shirt. Oh, Rasa. Hello, how are you? I love you, sweetie. Like that, she will fall for you. You're waiting for me to, to, to convince her for you. Okay, I will talk to her. My dear daughter Ochuko, I'm sorry that daddy is not here to take care of you. But there are some battles you have to fight alone to become stronger. And this is one of them. All I can say to you is trust no one except Solomon. I know you haven't known him for long, but I trust him with your life. You must be careful with Nana. She is not what she pretends to be, including Alex. Nana is not what she pretends to be, including Alex. They might betray you, so be careful and be strong. I love you. My dear, no, no. Have you read the letter? Yes, I have. What did he say? Um, he said he's sorry for not being here to take care of me, and I should be strong. Oh, if you send it, it's right. You need to be strong. Your father is dead worried about you, even though he's not here anymore. So I say you should be strong. Come, I have not seen you eat anything today. Come, you get something yummy, something nice to eat. Thank you, Mama. Come, let's go. You see? Mama said, you should calm down. Everything will be fine. What you call? I know sometimes others can be a handful. But trust me, he's a good boy. You love him. I don't know what he wants from me. All he does is give me a headache all the time. I know, but it's coming from a place of love. You need Alex. Both of you should strengthen your relationship. You need Alex to fight your uncle. Uncle Felix? Of course, you know that man will not back down. He will not give up. And what will he do? Fight the will? A man like that will go all the way, any extent, to get what he wants. You need Alex. With him by your side, you stand a chance of defeating Felix. Man to man, they will, they will dig it out. Trust me. Okay. Maybe I'll just try to be more understanding. Of course, now you're talking, my child. When you have a good man by your side, all you need to do is to calm down and follow him calmly. Not nagging, not complaining, not feeling uncomfortable with him. With him around you. Open up to him. That is the spirit, my angel. You know I always want the best for you. I love you. Thank you, Nana. Let me leave you to think about what I told you. Um, if you come with me to the office, I think you should come now. What? Why? 
The Why? board called for an emergency meeting. Emergency meeting? Yes. Why? Well, they need someone to take over for my dad's position. What? Uh, uh, sure, I can do that for you. I will. Don't worry. Let's let's get going. So, when we get there, what are you going to say? Anything I can just speak up for you, okay? I'm no your fiance. No need doing that. I have arranged everything. Let's go. Let's go. waiting for you. You should have just let me go with you. I've told you you don't need to worry about it. Hm? I've been in this company since I was 12 years. I worked as my father's assistant since I was 16 years. I know one or two about politics board. Excuse me. Experience? Yes. You are experienced. Those people are talking. People are, people are gossiping. Not just about you being a a woman, but the fact that you are too young to run this company. Are you saying I should hand over my father's company to someone else? I'm not talking about someone else. Me, I should run this company. What do you even know about business management? Talk more of running a big company like this. No, let me say this. You are 22. I am 29. I am far older than you. So if you feel you can run this company, I can run it better than you do. Enough! Alex, I've had it. Leave. I should leave your office. Get out! Now! I should leave your, your office. You heard me. Alex, get out. Fine. You don't need to shout. You said you want to see me. Nana. Yes. Alex wants me to get married to him now. I mean, my father just died. Why will he be saying anything like that? But there's nothing wrong with this one. He means well for you. He's thinking about you. How? Uh, probably he wants to take off some of the pressure from you. He wants to share in your problem. <laughs> Even if I get married to him, I will not hand over my father's company to him. I don't understand. If I do so, what does he expect me to do? Be his assistant or what? No, he's not asking you to share anything with him. Ochoko, at this point in your life, you need a man. You need a man you can lean on his shoulders and share in your problem. You want to die of pressure? No. Share your problems with a man. Once he gets married to you, he will relieve you of some of the pressures, some of the worries. Alex is not qualified. He's not. Once he gets married to you, will anybody complain? He will learn in the work. He will learn in the job. That is nepotism. Yes. He's not a graduate. And he's not even trying to improve himself. All he wants is for me to hand over everything to him. Not, not as if he can even handle the company. When he knows nothing upstairs. He knows everything. Just that he's not been exposed to it. You see, once you get married to him, nobody will complain. You know, love covers all wrongs. Even if he's, he, 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 there's a shortfall somewhere, your love for him will cover for him. Nana, that's not part of my father's legacy. 
Everything is by merit. I know, but you need him. You need a man. You need him. No, I don't need him, man. I don't need him. He's stopping me. He's affecting my mental health. How about you breathe, please? I don't need him. How did you meet him? I mean, Alex. How did you meet Alex? How did you meet Alex? Why are you asking? You two are not a good match. You are mismatched. Mismatched? Alex does not come anywhere close to your mental capacity and your intellectual prowess. Someone as intelligent and as mad as you are is expected to be with a man that is equally brilliant. Well, he saved my life. How? I just saved you. I saved your, your life. You saved my life? Yes. Oh, thank you. Hope you're fine. Yes, I'm fine. Okay. Can I have my phone? Yeah, use your phone. Thank you. Um, I, I really don't know how to repay you though. But uh, what's, what's your name? My name? What are you using my name for? At least I should know the name of the person that saved me. Okay, my name is Alexandra. You can just call me Alex, okay? Anyways, Hi, Alex. I was about going home to get dressed for an interview before I saw some guys embarrassing you. I just had to fight them. But still, I'm still, I hope you're fine. Are you sure? Yeah, thank you. Um, if you don't mind, can I, can I have your number? My number? What do you want my number for? You, you just said you're going for an interview. So maybe if you don't make it, I can help you. I don't think that would be necessary, okay? Please. That's it. Thank you so much, Alex. I just take a room right now. Okay. I'll call you. Save it, please.
So what happened afterwards? He went late for the interview and he lost the job. He tried searching for jobs for two weeks, but to no avail. So he called me. And you helped him get a job in your father's company? Yes, I did. From there we became close friends and we started dating. To be sincere, I don't even know how I ended up dating him. You said... You said he saved you from the two guys who abducted you. Yes, he did. What is it? Nothing. I know he's not my ideal man. At least he's okay. If I may ask, who? Who is your ideal man? I can come and check on my niece, so any good news? It's so soon. People will frown. People will wag their tongues if she got married as quickly as her father died. It doesn't make sense. Hmm. Who cares? Besides, they can get married in a court without any of us knows. Are you serious? Yes! Junior never thought about that. You see, I'm... Uh, um, in any case, just give them time first. It's like I can teach you if you leave them, man. Are you okay? Okay. Do you know what you can do? Go and call him. He's not wise. I will not call him. I told you, you let's take it one day at a time. So go and call him. Go, go and, call, and him. call him. Let me talk to, to him. Let me put sense in to him. Start going. What? When somebody sees you. You're on your own. I'm not here with you. Don't don't drag me into this mess. Go. You don't want to go. Maybe you don't want to go. Stay there. Listen to, to me, you young boy. I want you to sort it out as soon as possible. Believe me, I am trying my best. I am trying my best, but my dear, we should stop. Your best is not enough. Eh? Don't let me get angry with it. To you. <sighs> yes. Bye. Try to do something now. Just look for something else to do. But I get out of my sight. Get out of my sight. What are you looking at? You gossip. I saw you discuss it, my uncle. 
What is he doing here? Your uncle. Oh, 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 yes, that useless man. That stupid man. <laughs> Can you imagine that man came to cause trouble? I, you, I, you should know me. I, and I, I gave him double. I, I asked him to leave. No, I came here to, to, to that, that man is not a nice man, no. He came here to fight? Yes, now. And you pushed him? Ha! I kissed him out! But it, it was looking like he was scolding you. Scolding me? <laughs> Babe, that man is a raving lunatic. I just have to send him off. And here, that you useless bodyguard. That stupid boy. That, that, come, how do you even cope with that kind of person? Can you believe that you were just standing there looking at us doing nothing? Eh? That man is a stupid person, though. Just forget about it. It's fine. Thank you. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you fine? I'm fine. Thank you. You can leave. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> You need to be careful. I saw your uncle discussing with Alex and Nana. Nana too. I I saw my uncle discussing with only Alex. No. He discussed with Nana first. It was actually Nana that went in to call Alex. Hmm. Um. Orders. Oh, oh. No, no, that is. It looks like I saw him scolding Alex. I got you. I'm here to look after you. I'm here to watch your back. But on your part, you need. Extremely cautious. Shut up, you're not into her. Okay? Just shut up! Alright. Can you stop? What's in the hospital? Calm down. Well, she has a small crack on her skull. Small crack? And we won't be able to know the extent of the damage until the test result is out. What? Doctor, doctor, this is your, this is your, this is your doctor, just tell us we should be we should be okay. Just tell us, say, say something. <sighs> I'm sure she'll be fine. As you can see, she's still sleeping. We have administered the first dose of drip now. 
If I go back now, I'm going to tell the nurse to come and start this the second trip. She'll be fine, okay? Thank you. If only we have we have gotten married for this world. Are you okay? Is marriage the only thing for you here? How about her life? So, okay, marry her again in the hospital. If only you had gotten married. This is your fault. Just have it in your mind that this is your fault. Is this how you do better? Oh, no. If I am not mistaken, how am I sure? Am I sure it wasn't either of you that pushed her down the stairs? How dare you? How dare you? How can you say something like this? How? Even me? I do not trust any of you. Oh, I see. You don't trust us. <laughs> we don't trust you too. If it see, you're fired! Just get out of here! Leave here! Keep shut, little boy. You know quite well you are not in the position to fire me. And let me sound this as a note of warning to you. If you shout, or scream, or yell one more time, I would first of all break every damn bone in your body. Then I will throw you, throw you out of this premises. Is it in the hospital? Shh. Uh, doctor, I don't understand you. What do you mean she's temporarily blind? Well, from the result conducted, our optical nerve was affected, but it's only temporary. So how long is she going to be this blind? Is it going to be a permanent thing? Hmm. Well, for now, I don't know. <laughs> it may take weeks. It may take months. Sometimes years. It all depends on our healing process. Oh my goodness. <laughs> my goodness. My God. Can you come down? No problem. Thank you so much, Doctor. I am giving you this information so that you will use your discretion to know how to relay the news to her. Of course we will. We will find a way to go around it. You know it's not easy. It has happened, it has happened. We will find a way around it. Alright. Thank you so much. I have some waiting for me in my office. No problem. Thank you. What? Shut up, don't talk! What you talk? Let's go! Job work of protecting her. This would do that. This would do that. This would do that. Alex, what stop. happened? It was just an accident. Stop. Can you guys stop? Alex, take this 
Jesus. Nobody's fault. I stumbled and failed. It affected your eyes and your head. Hit your head, right? You, what are you still doing here now? Leave now. Go. Can you calm down? Where is my phone? Uh, I got it. What do you need your What do you need your phone for? I want to make important calls. Don't worry, my Siri is still working. Oh, you see, we do the call. I made your favorite. Should I serve your food? Yes. Thank you, Nana. Um, at this point, I feel you should go upstairs and have some rest. Won't you just leave her to... Won't you take her upstairs? She has not eaten. I wanted to give her food. Not Nana. You can bring it to my room, please. To your room? Okay. She will focus on her. Oh, Why won't she appoint me to take over her duties temporarily? Why? There is nothing I didn't say to her. I told her everything. Can you believe this girl refused? She refused. You are not qualified. But I... Uh, what? The more you insist, the more suspicious she becomes of you. Nana, what do you want me to do? I've tried everything. What else do you want me to do? Be in her face. Be kind to her. Take good care of her. Then get her pregnant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, wait, why didn't I think of this? Yes, and once I get her pregnant, she has no other choice. And to do your bidding. <sighs> Please, 
you much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so staring at you after I'm blind. Don't forget. Uh, um, why don't you lie down on the bed? No, I don't want to lie down. I've been lying all day. All right, I, I understand. Care of you. Yes, he is. And I thank God for that. You will agree with me, he's a good man. Yes. Both of you are engaged. Yes. <clears throat> Ochuko, I know your, your dad just died. You and I, Alex, need to get married. What? Just listen to me first. Hear me out. You know, this whole thing is for your own good. You've not been to the office for some days now. You don't even know what is happening there. You do not have a vice to take charge. But if Alex is your husband, he will take charge. Nana, why will you advise I get married to him? At least not in this my condition. Listen, my child. Like I told you earlier, it is for your own good. If Alex is your husband and has the authority, he will protect you both from the office and from your uncle. You cannot do this alone. You need a man, your husband. Nana. I'm confused. I don't I, I don't know what to say. Just take your time and think about it. Alright? Is there anything special we want to eat tonight? Let me make it for you. No. I'm okay. Nothing special. I'm okay, Nana. So it is true that my niece is blind and nobody told me. How did you yeah? find out about it? Huh? Yeah. How did you find out about it, Uncle Felix? Young man, what are you doing here? Huh? What are you doing here? I have my way any day, any time. Yes. Since you are blind, who is managing the company? The company is running fine. The company is running smooth. I will advise you to please yourself by leaving this place. 
Get out of here! I should leave my brother's house. Young man, I said you should live here. Leave! I should leave for my brother's house. Get out of here! Yes, so you understand it is your brother's house. I will ask you. Do you want to leave in good form or do you want to leave in good form? I'm leaving. But I will be back. I'm surprised. Who would have told him about my condition? I'm sure. I am sure it's this your so-called bodyguard, Solomon, that told him. I am sure. I am very, very sure. Um, Alex, do you have a proof to that? Uh, no. No but. There, no, there but. is no but. Please, until you have a proof to something, don't accuse someone. Are you trying to, to defend him? I'm not defending him. If you come with your proof, I will take my actions. Oh, I see. Why did you come here? Get the job done. How? She's blind now. She'll never agree to the marriage. She's stubborn, you know that. You don't need the marriage again. Just get her to sign everything. That's true. Yeah. Wait a minute. What do you have in mind? Huh? You don't want to talk. You're on your own. Go, go. Just go. Find the document of this house to the company. Felix says he wants documents for the estate. But I don't know anything about estate. I've never seen it with Chief, neither has he ever mentioned it to, to, me, to my hearing. So I don't know where to get that one. Um, do you have any idea if Chief has any safe in, in this house? I don't know, neither have I seen one. No safe. I see. Listen. I don't care about Felix. I don't care about him at all. All I want is for us to find the, the document and sell the property. Use the money and travel that out from this country. We're that saying, is what I want. We are saying the same thing. All we need to do is find the document and sell the property. And give uh, Felix a little. And declare to him that is all we are able to find. We we'll find our way out of this country. You know that is not the kind of man he wants coming after you. Because this man can kill. He's so desperate. He can kill. Um, okay, but we are going for the the larger part. Of course, we are taking the larger chunk. Are we sharing it? Is it not what to declare to him that he knows? Uh, of course. That's better because I, that's good. You know, I'm trying to. I, I'm tired of impressing that girl to let her marry me. You know, I'm, I can't even stand her. Let us get the money I first. I don't like herself. Nobody's talking. Can you come down? You know, we all have ears. Nobody's forcing you to marry any girl. Just get the money and make a move. Quickly go and find the document. Go and find the document and stop saying who you marry and who you not marry. Quickly start, start. I will find it. Quickly go and start. Go, 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 go. Fast. I have searched everywhere. I've searched everywhere. In, 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 I've even searched Chip's room. It's not there. Did you search everywhere? I did. Why don't you go to her? Go to her office. Search there thoroughly. We must find that document. I don't know why. What are we going to go to her? Uh, you know me, I want to make a... I and if I may ask, what are you two whispering about? We are not, actually, we are not whispering. We are deliberating on the kind of food we are going to make for Chico. You know, she likes... Uh, uh, White rice and chicken and stew, right? I'm um, sorry. How is that your business? Can you calm down? Huh? Huh? Don't worry. We are trying to. All right. I see. Taka taka sana. 
かさかさかもう。Instead of asking me, it doesn't matter. Um, Suleiman, I think I'll prefer having the meeting in my room. All right, that doesn't matter. Without informing me, can you calm down? Can you calm down? Sometimes you don't talk; you use your head. You know what the fight is all about. No, no. Do you think what you could trust that guy more than us? At this point, I don't care. I don't care whether she trusts him or not. Just find the document. I will be fine. I'll find it, yes. Good. I must find it. Once you find the document, every other thing will be taken care of. What if that guy is the one inst instigating her against us? See, I don't care. Once we find that document, every other thing will be taken care of. Mm. That should be your main cross now. Not what he does and what he does not do. That one, taka taka do do. Is that what you want to do? Just this man. How much do you think this this house can can fetch us? You can take one. To work to a billion. A you know, it's big at the back, back, back. Oh. Hmm? I mean, I can't wait. I can't wait to make money. I can't wait to start controlling millions. I can't wait. Can you calm down? Allow your chicks to lay the eggs. And let the eggs hatch before you start counting your no, chicks. No, no, I can't wait. I can't wait. Can you believe? I expected this girl. I expected this girl to give me a job at the management position. But no. Instead, she gave me the job as a junior staff. You know, a fruit can never fall far from the tree. 
should always be like her father. They do not appreciate loyalty. Yes. Yes. Go and see what they are doing. Yes. I have to go and check what they are doing upstairs. Don't make trouble when you get there. Don't make trouble. Move your head. We have searched everywhere for the document. We couldn't find it. Serious? Seriously. Okay, I have to prepare this. Hmm? Let her sign it. Give it to her. Yeah. Uh -uh. You want her to sign power of attorney for you? Shouldn't it have been for Alex? Wait, does it not, not make more sense than she hand over the property to me instead of that your incompetent nephew? Eh? Don't worry. I will still give you what you deserve. Don't worry yourself. Cool down. Hey, no problem. I'll, I'll make sure she signs it. Okay. Let me take it to her. Okay. I'm expecting good news. Of course you get good news. Ma, ma. Your business will <laughs> Perhaps see, that man is too greedy. I am sure he won't treat us well once he takes over. Yes, I know that. But it's equally right. Without marriage, you can never take over. The board will never agree to it. Okay, so what do we do then? Let us get the money first. They will make us sign it. To get the money? How? You're talking about the money. How can we get it? How? See, we'll make her sign it. With her signature, no one will question you again. Am I no longer Nana? I'm in this house. I know how, how to go about this whole thing. Please, mm. it's more right. Okay, so like, like how, how much? Just told you leave everything to me. Are you sure? Absolutely, I am certain. That's fine in your hand, please. Can you help me go through it? Yes, sure. What? Why? Uh, babe, babe, I told you I have cross checked it. Why are you giving him to why are you giving him to check it again? I know. But Solomon is into finance. My father said he's a sheltered accountant. He he'll be able to spot out something you couldn't see. An accountant? Oh, come on, you're, you're, you're joking. Then why is he your bodyguard? That's because his family owns my dad a favor. And that's what he's paying. Oh. Please. Oh. Please. Just take me upstairs. Okay. Why are you dragging me like that? She gave the file to Solomon to cross check. What? Why? I don't know. Seems it's it's obvious he's an he's an accountant. An accountant? From which school? I don't know. We do. How are we going to get what we want? How are we going to make bring him to our side? I don't know. I'll, I'll just look for something to do. I don't know. Well, what else will you do when an, an accountant is going through the documents that will give us what we want? See, you have to handle that. Make sure you bring him on our side. Let him walk with us. Uh, uh, me? Who else? Are you not a man? It's your responsibility to bring him on our side. We will give him anything he wants us to give him. 
so long as he works with us. It's your responsibility too. Okay. Yeah, 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 sure. I will then, try. I will then, try my best. Swing into action. Start. Don't waste time. Don't, no, Dolly, no. I don't know. This. Why are you obstructing my path, if I may ask? Please, we need to talk. About what? The, the, the file that Uchko gave you, there's a document I added there. Oh, you, you falsified the documents, is it? Um, um, yes, I did, because I needed money, okay? I need money. That girl is a very stingy girl. She's very, very stingy. You are so right. I see Ochuko. Ochuko is a very stingy girl. She's an extremely, extremely stingy, selfish and an egocentric person. She only thinks of herself, herself alone. Whatever you want, I, I will do for you as long as we share. Uh, ah! Well, I am so sorry to disappoint you. I will not aid you in stealing from Ochoko. I'm um, sorry. Listen to me, young man. You will do as I say, okay? Else, I will tell her you added the documents there just to set me up. Oh, I am so scared. I am so scared. I might obviously lose my job when you do that, isn't it? You see something? Everyone in this house might not know who you are. I know you deep down. And you know I know who exactly you are. Do not think of thinking of thinking of having what you call resources, her finances, her wealth, because I will not let that happen. See you for having such obnoxious ideas in this thick skull of yours. Oh, but to God, we met me and you. I don't mark your face to God. God. What kind of human being is this? No. What kind of bodyguard is this? I don't know. We really where did this kind of person come from? How much does he want? A hundred and twenty million. Hmm. Is Nana part of this? I really cannot say for sure. Um, but one thing is certain, from my observation, they have a relationship. I thought as much. Um. I await your orders. Whatever you want, I will get it done, Mungun and cool. Don't let him know you told me anything. Remove all the incriminating documents. You can always count on me, Mungu Ninku. I did not tell her nothing. I only removed the incriminating document. Every man has a price. Name your price. How much do you want? I will give it to you. Let's take this money and get out from, from this house. Okay? I have already shown your kindness. Please. Do not push this any further. Taka taka sana. Uh, 
Um, babe, this is the meal I discussed with you about. Yeah, so this is it. I had to print it out. So, you will have to sign in your signature here yeah? so it can be approved. Oh. Yes, you hold the pen. Yeah, yeah. This, this is the pen. Yeah. Yes. Then you sign here. This first part. Oh, is it? You sign. Yeah. Yes. You sign the. Yes. Yeah. Um. So you can sign the remaining two. Um. Okay. While I'm signing the remaining two, can you help me go to my room on top of my bed? You see, you see plenty documents here. Please bring them for me. No problem. This guy just hold it, well. Mm. Okay. Okay. Does it? Okay, just arrange them according to the numbers then. Okay. Add the documents I've signed under it. Okay. This is. Okay. Are you done? Are you done signing? Um. Yes. Okay. Let me get all this then. Um. Can I? It's just two here. Two way? It is just two that is remaining here. I don't understand. Uh, you, you signed three papers. Three mail, that was what I gave you to sign. And I am just saying two here. Two? How is that possible? I I don't know. Two Let's papers. Try, try searching around. Maybe it's, it fell off or breeze below it. Are you sure? Let's try. Are you sure? There's nothing here. I can't find anything here. There's nothing here. Uh, uh, Bill, did someone come in here after I after I went upstairs? Hmm. Now you just said that. You know, when I was signing those because I, I felt the presence of someone. I, I, I asked who, who was that, but the person kept quiet. And after a while, I wasn't feeling the presence anymore. It must be that useless Solomon. Well, why would he do it like that? <sighs> this guy is finished me. Um, I'm sorry, I must find him, okay? I must find him. Uh, Solomon! Alex! Alex, calm down. Jesus. Solomon! I trusted you. I trusted you so much. Sorry, I was about to take my date, so I locked it up. Why can't you just fire that that useless bodyguard of yours? 
Why can't you just fire him? But uh, why should I fire him? You are the one that said the content of what you made me sign is not useful. So, why will he steal something he knows is not useful? Okay. Among the three files, the three printouts you signed, how come one is missing? This particular one, how come it is missing? Why are you dragging over this? Okay, it's fine. You can reprint it and I will sign on it again. Yes. No. Instead, you can give it to Solomon to bring it to me. That way, you can be safe. No! 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 <laughs> this this can happen. This is... <laughs> is ready. Carry their own. She and Alice, I will take theirs to the to their room. You now I'm going somewhere, so I needed to serve the food so that I don't come back later and look like I'm not eating. Alright. Asante Sana, thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I don't understand that one. Should I go and check up on him? No, wait a bit. Sure? We're already winning. Why are you in a hurry? Oh, so 
Solomon, Mr. Solomon, grande, yeah, I want you, I want you, young man, you should have left when you had the chance. No, 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 no. Why are you calling me like that? No, no. What? What have you done? I didn't do anything. What? I cannot touch you. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Now I have finally marked your face in debt. Yes. This is the end of Solomon Grande. This is your end, Chief Security Officer. Oh! Let's hide him under this staircase. Uh -huh. Then, much later, we can take him away, throw him into the, into the river, train him nearby the river. Yes. Drag him. Let me help you. Under this staircase. Hide him. Hide him. Put him in your back. Matthew on the face. Matthew on the face. Mr. Felix, what do you want from me? Very good question. We want you to sign some papers for us. We? Yes. Who is the we? Yes. All, all of us. Felix, Nana, and I. Mm -hmm. Nana too? Yes, Nana too. Am I not a human being? Nana, why? I took you as my mother. Blame whatever you think on your father. When he excluded me from his will, he never mentioned me in his will. Is it good? Maybe that's because you did something to him. I guess he might have seen through you. That's not true. I've never done anything wrong to your father. I served him with all my mind. I loved your father. I thought he was going to marry me. Rather, he did not see anything in me. He only saw that maid that is always at his beck and call, serving him at will. Please, can you sign this and let's be done with this? Sign what papers? Okay. We need the estate and the companies. This house too. Yes, Nanaya deserves this, this house. Besides, she has been the one taking good care of you since you came into this house. Absolutely, absolutely. Hmm, I see. And you, Alex, what do you want? Yes. Um, besides, we've shared it already. I am going with 600 million. Felix here is going with 400 million, and the remaining 3 million is for Nana. And you think my uncle will let you walk away with it? Like that. And it is already shared, and we all agree to the terms yes. of the sharing. Yes. Hmm. And what if I don't sign the papers? Huh? If what? You are going to die right now. Yes. Try us. I still sign the papers. Yes. Um. Just sign these papers, okay? And because that you useless bodyguard, Solomon, or I don't even know what you call him, he's not here to save you, okay? Because he's dead. He's gone. Okay. What do you mean by he's gone? I poisoned him. Poisoned him. What's funny? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Don't mind me. I'm just happy that he didn't have to die with so much stress.
You know what? Kill me. Why don't you kill me? Because I will not sign that papers and let you all go away with my money. It is my money. Which your money? It is my money. Yes. My brother shows you over for me. You adopted daughter. Yeah? Over us, his three family. Bring this on him. Because he signed your dead warrant. Dead warrant. You killed my father. Huh? Is that to think that my brother would want to be your husband. Stand where you are. He's a ghost. You can see. Yes, sir. Of course, I can see. I, I told Solomon that you must be faking it. Yes, Dad. I was faking it. <laughs> oh, wait. Solomon knows your life. Yes, he knows. <laughs> I caught the brakes to your car. And you had an accident. Mm. Well, it uh, will interest you to know that the very moment my brother came back to my life, I knew he was into something mischievous. So I was extra careful and cautious. What's the problem? What are you doing under there? The brick is not working. The brick is not working. Yes. What? You, you, you just caught by yourself. I don't know, sir. But it can be faced. Yes, sir. It's all right. Um, in that case, can you roll it? Yes, sir. It's all right. Um, when you are able to roll it out, get some people to help you push it to a corner. Then get a mechanic to have it faced. Yes, sir. But make sure no one sees you. All right? So now, when that is done, I want you to drive the car straight to your village. Do not come until I ask you to come. What is that? I want everyone to believe that we both died in a motor accident. Sir? You're wondering why? They all want me dead. So we just want to make them feel that it has happened. But God will not allow it. Yes, sir. So, push it out now. Okay, sir. Um, where's Joshua? Joshua? Uh, sir? Come on, let me. Open the gate. You need someone to open the gate and help him roll it out.
So this is how you escaped. I was good to you. Why didn't you mention me in your will? That was wicked, Chief. You see, when my brother came back to my life, I got a private investigator to follow him. You can imagine when the photograph that he turned in had both of you on several occasions. What? Well, I would have ignored it. Because I knew that even if you were sleeping with him, you would not hurt my daughter and I. And that you were a good person. But then, until your nephew became my daughter's savior, huh? that's when I knew that you had been bought. Wait. Yeah. Alex is her nephew? You. You knew the, the whole time? Um, I, I am I'm shocked for you to think that I would not want to investigate the man in the life of my daughter. It has a mistake you made. <laughs> Wait. I don't understand. What? It was an arrangement. Your life. The plan. With those guys. How is this possible? Your life. You practically and pragmatically underestimated my person. And that was your biggest mistake. You shouldn't have underestimated an enigma, a phenomenon. Someone as brilliant, as intelligent, as mad as I am. You should have at least taken some seconds to confirm I was totally dead before you start rejoicing and celebrating your loot. Wait, I, I, I want to understand all this. So all this was a setup. Yes, it was. At this point, that was why I had to bring in Solomon to be your bodyguard. He, he gave me no other choice. He never saw me as a family. He never saw me like that's made. Well, I... You may reason it so. I knew you... you, you really you were in love with me but because i knew i couldn't reciprocate the love you had for me i decided to do a favor that i think that you may like and that was i bought a house for you i also bought shares for you in my company what how is he alive I don't believe this. I don't believe you either. Well, if you do not believe me, you can ask my lawyer. I actually wanted to present it on your last birthday. But I had a second thought because you had decided to connive with him. Hi! He deceiving you. She deceiving you. Don't believe this. Why suddenly they decided to settle you? Where he where he have not done this for all these years? That's a beautiful question. Well, that's because my daughter is about to get married. Married? <laughs> to who? To me, of course. What? Hmm? How? How? The mysterious person, the total stranger you've been chatting with. The person you met online and fell in love with. King Wisdom. I am the one. Oh my god. You decided to block him because he refused to do a video call with you. 
And I refused having video calls with you because I was on a secret mission. By the time my mind was made up to have the video calls with you, you've already blocked me. When I got back, this foolish fool, Takataka Sana, is already in your life. Chief, bring the police out there and get him arrested. What? What? Sir, sir. Chief. Chief, we are not there killing me now. Sir. Um, it will shock you to know that I recorded everything. Especially the confession when you said you hired someone to remove my father's brakes from his car. Yes. And I'm so sure Solomon also recorded everything, starting from the point to where you poisoned him. Yes, my father did not name me Solomon for nothing. I am an embodiment, embodiment of wisdom. I did not just have all your ill and evil doings on audio records. I equally have them on visuals. Everything on video recordings. You've always threatened me that you'd get me fired. Huh? How about... How about you, you and you, facing the firing squad? Why? Told you. How about to God we me near you? I don't mark your face to God. My face. I don't mark your face. Solomon. <sighs> I still can't believe you've been the one all this while. I could not reveal myself to you earlier on because it could be very dangerous. So tell me, are you done with your mission? For now, I will say everything is settled. Currently, I'm just a young man who is in love with a beautiful girl. Young man who is in love with a beautiful girl? Will you forgive me and accept me back into your life? I will, if you promise to be my bodyguard all the time. It's all pleasure. Oh. Daddy. Yeah. Sorry. I have to go through all this. Don't tell me so I'm just so surprised you're alive. Yeah. I'm happy you're back to my life. Yeah. <laughs> um, Solomon. Chief. I've well, heard you both talking. Sit it up. <laughs> Thank you, Chief. Um, get, get us, get us wine. Let's, 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 let's celebrate this. Okay. Oh, uh, Chief, I'll do that. I'll do that. Yes. I'll do yeah, that. no need. <laughs> you don't know Gary for the cat. Oh. I'll do it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, Love you can walk through. 
Stop the fire 